justice in the chair following the publication of the 2010 and 2021 census results, some clergy, some religious, and some concerned lay faithful have researched and discussed some of the issues for the dwelling numbers of Ghana's Catholic population. Some of their findings and suggestions that the bishops may want to consider during their deliberations include the following. One, the church needs its own research and data. The Catholic Church in Ghana can begin to compile and monitor all data on the church, including data on the growth of membership on short-term basis to allow the church to address teething challenges that may arise in time. Reliance on statistics compiled by the state in every 10 years does not permit us to rectify problems at the appropriate time and problems which may arise and grow during this 10-year period, which is a very long time. And before we identified the harm might have been caused already. As a result, the bishops may want to consider setting up a research department at the National Catholic Secretariat and replicate the same office in all arch and dioceses to collect and monitor their own data on membership and other variables in the church. In the pastoral guidelines issued at the end of uh, 2014 National Pastoral Congress, the bishops recommended that in order to take an informed decision to respond to the problem of people living in the Catholic Church for other churches or sects, we direct that specific research be conducted at the national and local levels by experts to offer proposals for implementation. Pastoral Congress guideline number seven, page 17. This is urgent and must be given the necessary attention it deserves by the bishops during their meeting, including this one. 